I'm Dr Rebecca Mann and I'm a consultant paediatrician. I want to talk about the use of nebulizers in childhood asthma. Please remember that according to current clinical guidance, children and young people should only use nebulizers at home to deliver prescribed asthma medications under the advice and medical supervision of a respiratory paediatrician. This guidance is based on the risk that treating asthma in younger patients using a nebulizer without appropriate medical supervision can mask signs of worsening asthma control. A young person with asthma may feel well even while their asthma control deteriorates and this could delay them seeking treatment and may lead to a serious asthma emergency which could even be fatal. For these reasons, parents, carers or young people themselves are not recommended to buy a nebulizer or use a nebulizer belonging to someone else to acutely treat their asthma without specific medical advice to use a nebulizer. This advice does not apply to nebulized medications for adult asthma or COPD or for other conditions in childhood such as cystic fibrosis. Be aware that sometimes people mistakenly think it is better for children to use a nebulizer to take asthma reliever medicines instead of their blue inhaler. NICE recommends using nebulizers for asthma rescue medicines only for severe or life-threatening asthma emergencies in children, for example by the emergency services or in hospital. Sometimes Nebulizers can be used under close medical supervision in patients with severe asthma when they are unable to use handheld inhalers. It is therefore vitally important that GPs, practice nurses, pharmacists and the emergency services check if patients under 18 with asthma are using a nebulizer at home or are trying to buy one for treating acute asthma and if so, that this is under medical supervision by a respiratory paediatrician. Also, let patients know that they can ask their health professional for training in using and looking after their nebulizers correctly if they have been advised to use one. You should not prescribe nebules for ongoing home use unless a child is under active follow-up within secondary care. For more information, please refer to the Drug Safety Update article published by the MHRA, which can be found at the link shown on the screen.